trying to compete um, with cerebral palsy is absolutely horrible. Because uh, it's like, what people probably don't understand about cerebral palsy and the way, the way it affects your body is that the more you push it, the more likely it's going to come back and push you, hard, push you back harder. Um, it's very restrictive. Um, it's, it's bad enough to use it just day to day, just, just getting around. Um, I find it harder. My legs hurt more after walking around than doing it on sprinting. Um, it's horrible. Some days it's great, some days it's really bad. Uh, <laughs> but when it comes to working with it in terms of athletics and performance, um, I've never really thought about it that much until, until, I, until I spoke to Tim. Tim actively, actively finds ways to adapt my program and adapt certain exercises, not not to the point where it becomes too easy, but to the point where um, my legs can handle the, uh, the pressures that they face. Having cerebral palsy, whether it be lifting a heavy weight, lifting lifting a weight in a certain way, moving in a certain way, is always very conscious about the quality of the movement, because it's very important for me. I need to sort of untrain my legs. They, they only know how to move in a certain way, so Tim's working really hard to untrain the habit and the natural way I move into, into, into a way that's efficient for running.